watching Star Trek, but my father hated me watching that show because I'd always imitate the characters. You know, he'd barge into my room, and I'd just snap right into it. Father! <laughs> Creator of the ship. <laughs> Scotty Bones, watch my back. <laughs> Father, creator of this vassal, what makes you think you can come in there and die? Give it that way, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, it really got bad, and after I guess I must have been like about six or seven years old, I just couldn't shake this Caucasianite sound. It was really absolutely terrible, but you gotta understand the advantages of having a voice like this. So I've got no problem, let's say, getting a job. <laughs> All right? All right? With this voice? All right? All right. Hey, Booyaka, Booyaka. <laughs> Whoop, there you have it. I was on the phone the other day when something like this. Hello, Union Carbide. Bob Caliban here, how are you? <laughs> yeah, hey, I was just sitting back reading the Sunday paper, drinking a cup of Sanka brandy caffeinated coffee. Well, I came across this position, position computer analyst. Yeah, yeah, $90,000 a year. Yeah, that one. Now, just between you and me, I bet you have a lot of blacks calling for this position. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, I believe they should get the same opportunities that we do. <laughs> Not. <laughs> how's that? Oh, sure, I can show up tomorrow. Hey, how's about I bring over a six pack of Budweiser's and over my lunch break, we can talk about how those blacks think they're going to take over the country. <laughs> Job. That's it. Okay, now right about now, I know you guys are looking at my ears. Okay, you're saying to yourself, you know, he's not your average homeboy, you know. You know, it's a little bit of country, a little bit of rock and roll. You know, but you gotta understand, when you have ears like these, there are certain places that you just don't go. You know, people get the wrong idea. You know, the other day I walked into a Toys R Us. Kid tried to pull one of them off. I swear he thought I was a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I can't have a satisfying sex life. A girl takes one look at these ears. She's like, I'm sorry. I don't sleep with cartoon characters. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, you see, you got to understand. I'm watching TV a lot these days. And you see, watching TV as an adult is very different from watching it as a kid. Because now you pick up all those hidden messages, you know? Like, I think it all started with that TV show, Good Times. How do you remember Good Times, right? Yeah. You remember the... I'm sure you guys remember the theme song from that show. Now, come on, when you listen to that song today, as an adult, you can tell that the words were written by a racist TV executive. I'll illustrate my point. Let's take a look at the song, shall we? I'm in the midst of delivering my point. Here we go. Here we go. Sing along, if you will. Good times, any time you meet a payment. Wait a minute. Well, so that means we blacks are so broke, paying bills on time is a special occasion. <laughs> Good times, anytime you need a friend. Not getting hassled, not getting hustled. Yeah, tell that to Rodney King. <laughs> Keeping your head above water, making the waves when you can. That's their way of saying, hey, blacks, remember that boat ride? <laughs> Keep the jobs, keep the food stamps. I'm unemployed. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Anytime you meet a payment. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xavier Cato. Thank you. Yeah.